<laughs> good day, good day. How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. You know, I got something different for an unboxing Saturday. Yeah, we got a boxing Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Um, this is going out to uh, Jerome. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen that video, I think we're going to post it on the end. Uh, but hold on a second. Let me back up here for just a minute and let me show you something. All right. If you guys don't remember, Drone sent me uh, some Land Rovers from his attic. Some stuff from his childhood. Here it is in my display case. Uh, this display case is all about... Uh, stuff that uh subscribers and viewers have sent me and uh so there you go uh check that video out we're gonna tag it at the end but this is to the answer to what he sent me all right so hold on we got something different for you today on a boxing saturday all right back over here on the desk here um and once again uh, a special thanks for drone out there chasing Diecast Cars, the YouTube channel, check him out. He's from Belgium, Europe. And uh, just out of the blue, he sent me uh, a package. Uh, and like I say, go check that video out at the end. Well, and uh, just so, just so um, overwhelmed and grateful for what he'd done for me, I said, dude, what, what can I get for you, you know, to... Uh, Thank you for this kind gesture. And he mentioned this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what this is. Um, I, uh, it, 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 you know, <laughs> this was kind of, it was kind of fun and kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I don't normally do this. And uh, uh, I, what, what don't I normally do? I don't normally collect series of things um uh whole sets of things and this is why because you can't get them all at once even in the store i cannot find uh, a whole set of something to collect so i don't normally do it um if you guys know i'm a jurassic park fan and i tried collecting most of the jurassic park uh stuff the, the latest newest stuff from matchbox and uh, yeah, I didn't even come close to it. But anyway, uh, this is what he was looking for. And these two buggers right here, I'm just going to tell you right off, were the most expensive pieces. I don't know why. And I'm not really going to tell you how much. I, I had to go, this is, um, uh, I had to go to the second market, i.e. eBay for this. And uh, this this turned out very well. This I got this package off eBay. I had to buy these separate, one from one guy, one from another guy or gal. And uh, because, I think because this is the uh, Chevy Bronco, and because it's the Mustang, they call for premium prices. So anyway, so what we're looking at, what are we looking at? So obviously, Jerome does not have the um, availability to the Target exclusive. And you know, I don't, think that these things even say that they're a target exclusive but let's try to go through this and this is a target exclusive uh target is a, a store and you can see here i got a target target bag and we'll get into that part of the story later on but um they did a retro uh throwback to the early models that they had all right so you can see this is uh 2012 so there's 12 all together. Uh, so now that we've got this, this story out of the way, let's go ahead and see if we can find number one. Here's number one. And we're just going to walk through these, and, um, and you'll see why uh, this is... Uh, I have some of these, or I have one of these. Here we go, the 1966 Lamborghini Mario P40. I don't know. Yeah, so this is kind of a throwback to... Uh, what they looked like back in the day so that's number one uh what was number two was uh oh that was the uh, let's see yeah that was the mustang the mustang 2 of 12 the 1968 ford mustang gt 
CS. I'm not really sure what the CS is, but that nice detailing on it. Very nice purple uh, to it. Very, very cool. So that was number two. Number three. Let's see. Where's number three at? Here it is. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz S123 Station Wagon. Yeah, this is a very nice sharp uh, car. Uh, very, very nice details. This was, uh, these were not your 99 cent. These were two something, I want to say, in the store normally. Um, so there it is, the Mercedes Station Wagon. That was number three. Number four was the Blazer here, the 1989 Chevy Blazer 4x4, kind of the old retro detailing and de deco there, so really kind of cool. I don't know what that 90 is supposed to be for on the uh, hood there, but uh, really kind of cool. So that was number four. Number five, that was the show, the, the star of the show, the Land Rover 90, yes. Yes, what a beauty, what a beauty. And uh, I bought it, I bought a set, I bought the set, which was mining, uh, uh, didn't have the purple ones, the Mustang or the, the uh, Blazer. So I bought the whole set from a guy for a really good price. Uh, I think that, the, the four pack itself was $6.99 with shipping included. So I, I did get a fair good amount of these, but this is it, the, the, the Park Ranger. Excellent, excellent. So that was number five and number six. Let's see if we move these over just a little bit. Number six was the Jeep 4x4 for four. Cool Mud. Cool Mud. So that was the six of 12. And um, I think I, I want to say Drone is like, yeah, if you can get me, you know, the first edition of these, that would be awesome. And uh, just so happens that uh, I was able to do one better, and I got the second um, uh, set as well. Uh, due to a good friend there at the uh, Diecast Club that I go to, uh, well, I try to go. It's every month they they are uh, they go in uh, Nina, which is about two hours away, and. Uh, I was able, he's got a friend at the, um, at a Target store, so he was able to pick up the second one. So this is kind of a bonus. I don't know if he's seen any of these yet, so uh, stay tuned, folks. Here it is, the Porsche 911 Rally. Now, these just came out. These just came out not too long ago. Um, and so, yeah, it's pretty pretty darn toot and cool that I could uh, get both sets the whole set for him you know so there it is the porsche i, I really like that rally that that's really kind of cool i really like that um you know i gotta say if i had all the money in the world and everything like that i would collect sets that had a land rover in it so you could have the whole set but uh boy i'm i'm busy doing other things <laughs> Moving right along, the 1933 Ford Coupe, <laughs> uh, the Matchbox Speed Shop, very nice model there, very nice model, yeah, so that was number eight, number nine is the Toyota 4Runner, very nice, uh, yeah, just a classic throwback, 1985, so I don't know if that's what, what this is, an uh, 85... Yeah, 4Runner 85, so yeah, that must be what that is, that 1985, very nice blue there, very nice, very nice, yeah, so that was number 9, number 10, uh, 2006 Ford Crown Victoria, or we just say Vic, and this is a taxi, it can either be a taxi or a uh, squad car, and they did the taxi, Spot on taxi. There you go. Yeah, so that's number 10. Number 11, we're getting down to the end. The Dodge Viper. Yes, look at that sleek bugger, huh? Yeah, beautiful blue with the white stripes. Viper, what is it? Um, VRT10, what is it on the side there? I can't read it. 
I'm blind. But anyway, <laughs> a little Viper badge there. Very, very nice, very nice. So yeah, and one more here. Here we go, this is the 1975 Chevy Stepside Pickup. Oh, look at that. That is very sharp. Look at the small detailing on the side. Yeah, Cheyenne. Uh, they had Silverado, they had the Cheyenne. I think the Cheyenne was the step side to it. But uh, there you go. All right, well, there you go. You uh, kind of see what we got here. Awesome, awesome set. I'm glad uh, I could put this together for him. I, I, like I say, I don't do this much because as you see, even this simple thing like this. Oh, I went to every Target store. When, when the first set came out and I was trying to get all the Land Rovers I could, I went to every Target in the area, uh, Madison, and there are not that many around. None. I think one time I found this on the shelf. Otherwise, the pegs were empty. I'm like, cheese balls, people. This is your exclusive one, and you can't keep it stocked? Unbelievable. But anyway, <laughs> that was my little rant. All right, well, there you go. Big thank you out there, Jerome. I'm going to have this off into the mail here shortly for you. So, uh, yeah, big thank you. I got one that I got to do for Lee, too. Yeah, die-cast fixer-uppers. I got a box I got to put up together for Lee, too. He sent me a box, so... All right, there you go. We're going to take a look at the star of the show on the way out of here. That's right. This is a beauty. Come on over to Facebook, Roverland, and uh, let me know what you think about this set. Come on over to Roverland channel, Instagram. Show me your pictures. And as always, this is your friend Dan O saying adios. Have a good day and slow traffic. Keep right. And have a great Rover Day!